stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Firewood, at least. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting the smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to do it. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. <sighs> Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Rita. The spurs, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! I will teach you some manners, boy. You irresponsible wretch! I will teach you some matters, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. 
Where are you, my uh, star, you builder rat? You there, stop. Talk before I pass on your brain. We will find them and let them out there somewhere. There somewhere. You. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued are ready to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, now. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. The Morgan was an old goddess. She's the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Thank you. 